this video we're gonna see how to create our own temporary email address using python now you don't have to rely on any third party websites you can create your own third mail using python by watching this tutorial so let me show you the demo first you can see that when we run the python script we will get a temp mail you can see that here we have a temporary email address that we got here and this is the username kumarishan kp18 and we got a domain name as well so let me copy the email address and let me go to the gmail and let me paste the email address here and i am sending the email from this gmail here let's take the subject as well as the message now so let us see if we got the uh, mail sent from this gmail to our temporary email address that we create using python so let me click on the send button you can see that now the email has been successfully sent let me go to the terminal now you can see that a new message has been received we got the from subject and text you can see the text this is python and we also got the subject as well so let us see how to create this temporary email address using python let's get started so we're gonna build an alternative to this template you can see that when using the website you will get all the ads like this you can see that here we have the pop-ups on the left hand side as well as the on the right hand side even though when you click on refresh it will take some time so let us see how to create an alternative using python so let me close this the api that we're going to use in this video is the mail.tm so just head out to this website this website gives us the api key so using the api key we can create our own tip mail using python so when you go to the website it will look like this so just scroll down you can see here we have the option called api just click on that let me close this pop-up don't worry we won't get any ads when we're using the api you can see that to access the api we have to create the api key first and they said how it works since we are interested in python consider here we have a api documentation here so this is the base url that we need to use you consider i have opened a python file in resource here code let's import the libraries that we need first we need the request so import request and let's also import the time so we first we have to copy the base url so base url equal to so to this base url we're gonna send the request so let me copy this base url this is very important so let me copy this base url now and i'm gonna paste it here so to this base url we're gonna send all the requests to create your email address as well as to receive the email address now we got the base url right then what we can do is if you scroll above we can see how it works first we have to fetch the domain names so let's do that now first we have to do this then we're gonna see what are the steps later on so let's fetch the domain name now domain name is equal to request dot get so we're gonna send a get request to the base url so i'm gonna use a f thing now so base url and i'm gonna open the so base url forward slash so we're gonna get a request to these domains so this will give all the domains and i'm gonna convert it into a json object now we got the domain names right let's try to pin the domain names now so let me pull up the terminal so let me clear the screen and let's try to run the python script now so let's see what are the domains that we got you can see that now we got the response so if you look at the response carefully consider we have the context we have the id consider here we have the domain punkproof.com so this is our domain free domain and this domain is uh, located under the hydra member so we'll have to access this hydra member key so let's do that now so domain equal to domain names so it is located under the zero index so let's try to access the hydra member first so let me copy this hydra member so inside this hydra member key we're gonna select the zeroth index and under the zeroth index here we have the domain key we consider hydra member and we have the domain so let me copy this domain key and let's try to access it now this will give us the domain that is the punkproof.com now we got the domain right then what we can do is we can create the account you consider when we go to the documentation we have considered once we created the domain we have to create the account so let's do that now let's choose the username now so username equal to kumarisan kp21 can change this if you want this is our username and let's also give the password so for this demonstration i'm gonna type tempass123 exclamation mark so this is my username as well as the password let's create the account now to create the account so before that let's print the welcome message like creating account this will give us what is happening behind the scenes when we run the python script now let's create the account now so account equal to again we're gonna uh, give you a get request to the url that is the uh, base url but since we are giving the email address as well as the password we're gonna use the post request get request is used to fetch something post request is used to modify something so we're gonna use the post request earlier we used the get request now we're gonna use the post request 
So inside this post request, we're gonna send the base URL r slash accounts. So inside this, we have to pass the some uh, arguments now. So JSON equal to so inside this JSON, we're gonna pass our email address as well as our password now. So address equal to so first we have to create the email. Now we have the username and password, right? We don't have the email address, so let's try to create the email address now. So email equal to so username at so I'm gonna use a string now. So this will be username at and I'm gonna append it with the domain that what the one we have. So username at this will be our domain. So that's it. This is our email now. And we can pass the email to this address. So address equal to you email and we can pass the password. So password equal to this will be our password. And that's it. Now we got the account right. So using this account, we can create the authentication token. So if account the status code is not equal to 201, then what we can do is we can print a message like file on creating account, account creation file, and we can simply exist the program. So exist. This will terminate the Python script. So, but if the account is created successfully, then what we can do is using that account, we can create our token. That is the authentication token. So token equal to again we're gonna use a get request now. So token response equal to request that again we're gonna send the post request so the f string inside the f string we're gonna pass the base url and this time what row we're gonna use is the token so forward slash token and the json we have to pass the account information here so let's pass that now so inside this json what we have to pass is we have to pass this password as well as the address again so let me copy this and paste it here so first we have to create the account then using the same credentials we can get the token now we got the token response right so using that we can create our token so token equal to token response dot we are going to convert it into a json object then we can extract the token now we got the token right then what we can do is we can simply so let's go to the documentation. Now you can see that now we have created our account as well as we have successfully get our token. So let me go to the sub visuals to your code. So we need your headers. So authentication equal to this is very important because when requesting the email address, we have to pass that this email is actually belong to us. That's why we need the token. So here authentication and I'm gonna use a string. So B error. This will be token. So don't worry, I will provide the full code in the description. You can check that out. So make this header is very important. So make sure you type this line carefully, otherwise, you will get error. And finally, we can print a message like email creator successfully. And let's print the email. Next, what we can do is now we have the email, right? We can print a message like waiting for incoming message, and we can get the message as well as the inbox. So let's do that now. We have successfully created the email address and we have to extract the inbox as well as the message now. I'm gonna use your for loop now for i in range. So here we can pass the seconds that you wanna wait. So I wait for 30 seconds. Inside these 30 seconds, if I get any email address, we're gonna get that. So inbox equal to request dot. Again, we're gonna use the get request. So you're saying so the base URL is very important. So using the base URL only we are getting the request so but this time we're gonna access the messages route and we have to pass the headers equal to headers so inside the headers we have the token so headers equal to headers consider here we have the token that's why we are getting the token using our account information now we got the inbox right we can create our message so message is equal to inbox again we're gonna extract the hydra number key so this will be inbox not index you can see that earlier we use the hydra member right we use the hydra member to get the uh, domain name again we're gonna use the same now so let me copy this hydra member and paste it here so this will give us all the messages and finally we can check if there is any message if there is any message then we can simply print your message like how many messages that we got so length of messages this will give us how many messages that we receive so this many messages that we got so length of messages no emails are right. so if you got one email then one new emails received 
and below this we can look through the messages to get the individual messages so for message in messages we can assert the subject as well as the header text so first let's get the full message so full message equal to request or get we can use the base url the route we can use is the the same route messages and we have to pass the message so messages slash what message that we want to attract and let's pass the message and we're gonna select this id this will give us the full message now so again we have to pass the headers so inside the headers only we have to open that's why we are passing the headers and we have to convert this into a json object then only we can access all the information now we got the full message right so let's print a message now so this will be from email address so full message we're gonna extract the from email ID. so from key so inside this we have the address so this will give us the from email ID so let me copy these two things to extract the two email ID also that is the subject so we don't have the two so let, this is the subject and we don't need the from key we can delete that so let me change this address to subject so using the subject key we can get the subject and let's also do that for the text also so text so let's also remove the from key we don't need the from key anymore so let me clear this so instead of this address we're gonna get the text and that's it now we got the from address message subject as well so we can simply break now and for the each loop we can wait for two seconds and finally we can print a else statement now this else statement is used for the for loop for else so let's print a message like no email receive within the specified time period that is we have mentioned the 30 seconds within one minute we are passing the 30 and we are waiting for two seconds this will give us the one minute and what we can do is we can run it now so let me run it so let me uh, clear the screen and let's try to run this python script so let me make sure we don't have any error so let's try to run this and see if we got any error so let me run this now so we got here error we have missed the comma so let me fix that so don't worry i will provide the updated code in the description you can check that out i will provide the github link you can check that Actually, this is not curly braces, this is parentheses. So let's replace the curly braces with the parentheses. And let me clear the screen and let's try to run this one more time. So this time we get invalid escape sequence. Object type is not subscriptable. Let's try to fix these two errors. You can see that we have to convert the inbox also to JSON format. So let me convert the inbox also to JSON format. I think this is not authentication, it is authorization. Let's also change that. And let me run this one more time. That's why we got a account creation file. And let's try to run this one more time. You can see that creating account email creator successfully. And here we have the email address. If you want to change the username, you can also change the username now. So let me show you how to change the username. So if you want to change the username, just simply head over to the code now and simply change the username to the desired one that you want. So I'm going to change the username to commercial kp18. So let me try to run this one more time. This time we should create the email address based on the username that I entered. Consider creating a call. Now we got email creator successfully commercial kp18. But you can't change the domain. So let me copy the email address now and paste it here. And for the subject, I'm going to type hi, this is Python. And we can also enter the message now. Hey, this is Google Mail, that is the Gmail, and click on send. Now you consider the message has been successfully sent. Let me go to the resource to report. So just give you a few minutes, it is waiting for the incoming message. Anytime our message will arrive. To consider a new email received uh, from the 
email address that specified here and the subject is hi this is python and the text is hey this is google mail consider now we have successfully created our own temporary email address using python and so yeah this is it this is how you create your own temporary email address using python uh, now you don't have to rely on any third parties work right you can use this or if you want to integrate in your own project you can also integrate this in your own project so this is for this video and i will continue in the next one